Ladies and gentlemen, and everyone in between, they got her. That's right. Katie Telford is set to testify on Chinese election interference. Trudeau is not happy about it. He's actually calling politics, Canadian politics, toxic, and we need to do better. Let's take a look. By three weeks ago and avoiding the chaos of the last couple of weeks. I think it's really important that Parliament works. Uh, and that is something that has been uh, at the forefront of what we're doing so that serious issues can be dealt responsibly in Parliament. And uh, that's uh, why we've been uh, pushing hard on the Special Rapporteur. We were pleased to have the full mandate come out and the work started by uh, the former Governor General now. Uh, and uh, we're happy to work with the NDP and other parliamentarians uh, to make sure that Parliament uh, doesn't end up as toxic as it has been in the past. Oh, I find it hilarious when he says, so it doesn't end up as toxic as it has in the past. Oh, sorry, that's the wrong photo. Trudeau's chief of staff to testify on foreign interference. A liberal climb down. The motion as amended multiple times passes. Katie Telford will testify. It took weeks of pressure for the prime minister to back down and flip-flop. Will he allow Canadians to get to the truth and prevent this from happening again before the next election with a full public inquiry now? Yeah. Canadians know this is an extremely serious issue and should not be a partisan issue. But both the Tories and the NDP were quick to claim victory. We this is great this news. And the obstruction and committee and to allow the chief of staff and the prime minister to testify. Justin Trudeau insists committee testimony from Telford isn't the best way to investigate the issue of foreign interference. The conservatives are trying to uh, gin up the toxicity and partisanship by making political theater, theater out of it and by uh, catching uh, Ms. Telford or others and not being able to answer direct questions. She is a critical witness to get to the heart of a scandal, which is what did the Prime Minister know, when did he know about it, and what did he do or fail to do about Beijing's interference in her elections. But one Toronto MP says some of the accusations at the heart of that interference are false. Okay. I was not offered, I was not told, I was not informed, nor would I accept any help from a foreign country. Han Dong faced cameras for the first time since Global News alleged he may have been involved in a foreign interference network. Because of the news story and all the hype. I don't know, that's a lot of sweat uh, for an innocent man. Comments, death threats come my way. It does impact constituents in my right. So as you and for those who don't know what the controversy is, um, well, for Katie Telford, Trudeau's government paying $84 million to firm employing Katie Telford's husband to manage rent assistance and aid programs. So they've been hiding her. The liberals have been actively hiding her so she doesn't testify against the Chinese election interference. This is a great day for Canadian politics. I'd love to know what your thoughts are down in the comments. Are you excited that she's finally going to testify and that we're going to put an end to the toxic politics here in Canada? Thanks for watching the entire video. If you want to help grow this channel, you can like and subscribe. I've made it really easy for you. You can subscribe by hitting this button right there. Or if you want to continue watching another video, you can do so right here. And if you would like to move on to question period highlights, I have an additional channel called House of Canada, and that is linked right there. Basically, it's just Trudeau getting completely destroyed and Jagmeet gets pegged by Trudeau because that's what he is. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.